Use code DRAWTECH10 to get 10% off your drawing board purchase at thebigorchard.com. Hello. I was practicing my draftsmanship by drawing this window elevation. I've recorded it all, and I'm going to try and talk through my process. I had to draw some guidelines beforehand because when I do these drawings with a camera on, I often have to get right up close to the drawing. Uh, maybe abnormally close. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I can't be the only one. I have to get really close to see all my details very carefully. After I put the guidelines down, I start by marking the edges of the window with a thick line pencil. Normally you're supposed to mark cut lines with a thick pencil, but I wanted to use two pencils for the drawing and needed an excuse to use it somewhere. In the guidelines, I've marked out dots to mark out the window jams and the mullions and transoms. Doing this makes it seem like marking out the window lines will be easy but it actually turned out to be quite tricky. I need to find a better way to draw finer details. Or maybe increase the scale size of the drawing. Or maybe just practice, practice, practice some more. This drawing is scaled at 1 to 10. Some of these lines it looks like I'm drawing over them twice or three times. It's because the lines are 1 to 2 millimeters apart and I'm moving the pencil minutely to get all the lines. The drawing board that I'm using in this video was really helpful for getting the lines accurately parallel or perpendicular. I'm using the Breton A2 drawing board by the Big Orchard Company. I have a review of this drawing board in the works coming up soon. If you're interested in this drawing board or other drawing boards that they have, I'm including a link down in the comments and description below so that you can have a browse of their drawing board range. I'm quite happy with the one I'm using here. The quality of it is really good. If you're going over there to have a browse, don't forget that I have a code which you can use at the checkout to get 10% off your drawing board purchase. The code is DRAWTECH10 and you'll find that in the description as well. I'll be reviewing this drawing board and a few others from the Big Orchard. Draftsmanship is a craft of skill, patience and dexterity. And if you want to nurture and develop your skills properly, you need to get yourself a good drafting board to work on. I've tried to work on a flimsy 20 pound drawing board and trust me, it is a nightmare. It doesn't help with nurturing your draftsmanship skills. You'll spend half the time adjusting the board because you'll doubt if it's set correctly while in the middle of your drawing. And I couldn't deal with this poor quality anymore especially as I'm making videos of drawing. I'm going to make a video tearing the cheap flimsy boards apart because they're completely useless for draftsmanship of any kind. I've been happy working on an orchard drawing board. It was a much needed and very good upgrade. I, I can rely on this board to help me produce accurate drawings and that's the confidence I need when I'm working. I need to have faith in my tools when I'm working. I don't want to have to fiddle with a flimsy board. I want to work with good tools and have faith on them that they'll do what I need them to do. Well, back to this drawing. This window drawing feels like a good exercise to do because it's quite simple, but it still forces you to think about how you're putting your lines down. I might be caught up in too much detail here because of how small the drawing is. When I think about it, it makes more sense to have drawn this simply as a plain window border while indicating the window pane and using the dashed lines to mark out how the window casements open. If I had drawn it at a bigger scale, then I could have put the sharper details in more comfortably. But because I'm working on an A3 paper, this size is appropriate for the A3 paper. I can't help but include the smaller details. It's a thing I like to do. Sometimes in office work, it's a waste of time. I find that in technical drawing, I have to switch the pencil between both of my hands quite a bit. I'm right-handed, but it seems that there's no right or left-handed at the drawing board. You just have to use both of your hands interchangeably. For technical drawing, there's some drawing exercises for beginners to go through to practice drawing straight lines 
drawing consistently and drawing precisely. I spent a few hours going through some of those basic exercises and I can start to feel how what I practiced is coming through on my drawing here. I'll be showing those drawing exercises on my channel sometime soon. I can draw expertly on a computer because I'm at a computer drawing for eight or more hours every day. This means that my hand is professionally well versed in moving a mouse around and clicking it everywhere on the screen. I believe that draftsmanship is almost, if not, a kind of whole body exercise. You have to sit in a good posture, you have to lean over your board, you have to stand up at times to get in a better position to draw. You have to, you have to move your arms around too. Now all of this doesn't sound like any crazy exercise, but when you compare it with having to sit at a computer all day, then it's definitely some sort of moving around. It's not exactly a bodybuilding exercise, but it involves more activity than clicking on a mouse and typing on a keyboard all day. Not to mention having to keep the drawing board clean, free from the debris of rubber shavings and lead smudges. Although that could actually be quite annoying, an annoying chore to do. Here's a little funny thing with windows in a technical drawing. Do you see how I've marked the dashed lines diagonally across the windows? These dashed lines represent the window casement opening and hinges. I don't know who decided it should be like this, but everyone who looks at these dashed lines, and let me tell you, everyone who looks at these dashed lines thinks that where the dashed lines meet to a point in the middle, that this indicates where the window handle or which side the window handle is on and where the dashed lines fork off towards the corners away from each other right to the corners everyone seems to think that these indicate where the two hinges are everyone seems to think this and I'll even say that this is logical but it's actually backwards do you see the top hung casement I've drawn the dashed lines indicate that the bottom of the window casement is pushed outward while the top of the casement hinges and this is how it's represented in construction books too. It feels like I'm lying to my brain. It feels like I'm telling my brain a lie and forcing it to accept that this is how it is. If any senior draftsman is watching, what do you think? Am I wrong? In the next video, I'm going to draw the section view of this casement window elevation. So for that next video, I'm going to vertically cut this window in half and present a technical drawing of how it looks inside.